Hey guys, today we'll review the 2014 Lincoln MKZ Hybrid. Alright, that's the end. It does come equipped with remote start. You won't be able to hear it because it's a hybrid. The Lincoln MKZ is a mid-sized luxury sedan based on the Ford Fusion. It features wonderful luxurious styling, an incredibly luxurious interior, and great fuel economy. This one you see here is a 2-liter hybrid. You can also get a 2-liter turbocharged gas engine or a 3.7-liter V6. You get a 2-liter 16-valve dual trim can applicant and cycle hooked up to an electric motor producing 188 horsepower and 129 pound-feet of torque. You get LED headlamps with LED daytime running lights and LED turn signals. You get a heated windshield with rain sensing windshield wipers. You get 18 inch alloy wheels with ventilated front disc brakes and solid rear disc brakes, McPherson strut front suspension and multi-link rear suspension. You get heated power folding turn signal exterior rear with available blind spot warning. You get a full rear length LED tail light, LED uh, third brake light backup camera and front and rear parking sensors, as well as dual polished exhaust tips. You get 45 MPG city, 45 highway, and 45 combined. Also, you get an easy fuel fuel cap, where you can just press the pump right through. You get a white platinum tri coat exterior, and a light dune premium leather interior, with dark brown accenting, uh, wood trim, and aluminum trim. On the door, you find the lock and unlock, three-person driver's seat memory, all four owners are automatic, the window lock, and your mirror controls. You'll also get an illuminated Lincoln sill plate, and full power driver's seat with power lumbar. You'll also get a manually tilt telescoping steering wheel. In order to start your MKZ, you just keep the key fob inside the vehicle, put your foot on the brake, and hit the button to start. You get very light electric assist rack and pinion power steering in this three-spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with perforations off to the side, a little wood trim down to the bottom, and aluminum trim around the multifunction controls and the bottom. You get a continuously variable automatic transmission controlled through these five buttons right here. Your headlight, fog lights, and instrument cluster brightness is controlled from here, as well as your trunk button, and down here is your electronic parking brake. To the left of your steering wheel is your indicators, and to the right is your intermittent wipers. If you notice, you have two keypads with OK buttons off to either side of your steering wheel. They control your uh, screens in the instrument cluster, respectively. To the left, you have a, basically your fuel economy screen with display mode, trip 1 and 2, fuel economy, information, and settings. If you go into fuel economy, you can basically see like your average fuel economy. And then off to the right, you have, by clicking to the left, you can go to entertainment, phone, compass, and climate. It's very easy to use. Your multifunction controls to the bottom left are cruise controls. And then to the bottom right, you have mute, voice control, volume, and your phone off hook and on hook. In your center console, you have a small cubby with a 12 volt power outlet, two cup holders, and a center console with auxiliary inputs, two USBs, an SD card input, a removable tray, plenty of space. You have a CD player with eject, passenger airbag off, seek and track, your tune, volume, and different climate controls including front defroster, rear defroster, auto, max AC, AC, vehicle recycling, on, fan speed, and temperature controls for both passengers. To the right of your MyLink and touch screen, you also have hazard lights and hill descent control. You get an auto dimming rear view mirror, sunglass container, Bluetooth microphone, three position garage home link, LED interior illumination, and more. 
You get a sun visor with vanity mirror, illumination, and a card holder. You get a driver knee airbag, side curtain airbags, torso airbags, adjustable seat belts, and a grab handle. Your My Link and Touch system consists of four quadrants phone, information, entertainment, and climate. With basic settings uh, on the home screen, you can click on each quadrant. By going into phone, you can see you can connect a device through Bluetooth, text messaging is on the vehicle, store your contacts, and more. In radio, you have AM, FM, Sirius, CD, USB, B Bluetooth stereo, SD card input, and AV input, different preset stations, HD radio, scan, options, where you can uh, access your basic audio settings, and more. If we go into information, you can look at, like, if you have the navigation, it would be here, but you can look at alerts, calendar, apps, where am I, and more. And then in your climate settings, you can look at your more in-depth climate controls. By clicking on the leaf, you can see where the power is going in your vehicle. And settings is to the right of that. It's very easy to use. You also get a great stereo in the vehicle. Check out the rest of the vehicle. Plenty of storage on the door. I'm actually extremely roomy back here. You get a leather seat pocket, uh, 110 volt outlet, and 12 volt power outlet. HV vac, H vac vents, uh, center console with two cup holders, and a storage cubby, a ski pass through, uh, coat hooks, uh, grab handles, and a really cool lighting system where if you just tap here, you can turn on the light. I think that's one of the coolest features about this vehicle. You also get 60 40 split folding seats. Just tap this button twice to unlock the trunk. You do get some space taken up by the electric motor and battery, but it's still a fairly roomy trunk. Also, your inside escape handle is right there. You get all the same power adjustments on this side. You get storage under the dash, which I also think is a very cool feature about this vehicle. A lockable illuminated glove box. Grab handle. It's a very nice vehicle. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Alright, bye.